Hi you folks, Simon here, welcome to the Final Fantasy VIII Remastered episode and I'm just here outside the Central Ruins, we're about to go inside. Got a really interesting one for you today, this tip comes courtesy of Red Mario Nanaki 13 I'm sure some of you are familiar with him from our live streams. And I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below, so thank you for the tip for this one. But this is a pretty awesome method to attain as many Luck Junction Scrolls as you want. Now, you're probably already aware of the fact that Luck Junction Scrolls for your Guardian Forces are super rare. Uh, they're normally quite difficult to come by. So to be able to get as many as we want, it's a really nice little touch. And you can use this method as early as Disc 2 once you have access to the Centre of Ruins. Uh, although I'm currently on Disc 3. Now, what we're going to do is actually battle Odin. Oh, but why would I want to battle Odin on this three, I hear you say? He's only going to be replaced by the inferior Gilgamesh. Well, no. That's only if he dies. I said we're going to battle him, not kill him. You see, we can actually battle Odin, take the stuff we want from him, such as the Luck Junction Scroll and or the triple magic that we can draw from him and then still lose the fight be ejected out of the century ruins and repeat the process as many times as we want but we still get to keep all the rewards so what i'm going to do is show you how we do this it's a great little method i'm sure you'll agree it's a bit of a i guess a bug that we're abusing that we can do it this way so i'm guessing not all of you'll be comfortable using this method but um, you know, for those lock junction scrolls, I think it's quite invaluable. So what I'm going to do is recommend that you set your characters up. Um, having one character that's fairly weak with mug attached. Now you want them weak because you don't want them to kill Odin. You just want them to mug the item, the lock junction scroll. Make sure that every character has draw. And also has space to draw triple if need be. Now, what I do recommend is using Squall. And either have him cast with uh, Aura Magic so that he can cast his Limit Break have him in yellow HP so we can cast his limit break or just use the battle enhancement toggle which is the simplest method for the remastered version and it's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and what we're going to do, well I'll explain that a little bit later first of all, let's get to Odin. So once you've gone into that room and turned on the uh, orb there, we're going to head back down the ladder that we just climbed up. Let's just keep turbo speed on. And we're going to activate this orb here. This will actually give us access to the next part of the dungeon through these invisible stairs that have now become visible. We're going to head all the way up here and then up this ladder to the left in order to grab the eye out of a statue. So it's not too confusing this particular dungeon, there's just a few bits that we need to do before we can access the boss. But like I say, there's really no rush. You've got so much time and you do actually need the timer to expire for this method to work. Um, so you know, you might be waiting around a bit. But that's cool. You can get a luck junction scroll every 20 minutes, which isn't too bad at all using this method. So now we're going to head up here with the red eye that we've just taken out of the statue. And then we're going to head up the ladder onto the roof of this strange looking building of the Central Ruins. And there we're going to plonk that eye into the statue. Now, just as a little warning for you, you're about to get a code, but it's not going to be the same code that I've got. So make sure you jot it down, take a picture of it with your phone, or just remember it if you're able to do so, because you're going to need it in a minute. So let's leave it as it is once both eyes are there. 7 treble 4 2. I think we can remember that. 7 treble 4 2. Uh, so now we're going to take both of those eyes out. There's one. Got to remember that 7 treble 4 2. This is the risky method, trying to remember it. And we're going to head back to that previous statue. Seven treble four two. And you've probably guessed what we're going to do already. It's called plonking those two eyes back into the statue that now has no eyes. Wait for the party here. Oh, come on. Right. Yep, put in both eyes. And then that should then prompt us to input the code. Yeah. And it goes from top to bottom. In my case, seven. Oops. Treble four. Two. The heck, how did that happen? I strongly recommend having triple speed off here. It can make navigating these numbers a right nuisance otherwise. But once you've input the code, if you're playing the PS4 version, just tap the triangle button, which is the menu button for those of you playing on non-PS4 systems. 
and then that will open the door. This is your final chance to check your junctions. So we'll just head down here. Now I wouldn't rush through this door, especially if you've got plenty of time left. Although it's not really going to make much difference because Odin himself doesn't attack. So I'll just show you the junctions here. Um, pretty standard stuff. The only thing of note is that I've taken some uh, the magic off Renoa's strength stat because she has the mug ability. So it's important she doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that Squall is junctioned quite strongly. In my case, he's got 255 strength stat, which is going to help us out big time. Uh, then we're just going to head through this door here. And we're pretty much going to have to play the waiting game during this battle. So we'll do the good stuff of drawing triple first. You might not need to draw triple. Perhaps you've done the Cerberus fight and was able to draw it or have attained it by other means. But it's just a good way of getting it if you don't have it. And I certainly don't, interestingly enough. So let's just go ahead and start drawing. Oh, make sure we keep bat enhancement on. Just means that we go through things a little bit faster. When you're nicely stocked up on magic, on triples, uh, I've got 100 on each character now. It's probably a good idea to start chipping away at his health. You do not want to kill him at this point, however. Again, just take your time. As you can see, we've still got 12 minutes left and Odin has no attacks. So he's got 22,300 health at level 71. He might have less for you. And just start chipping away at that. You want to get him quite low, but not to the point where you actually kill him. And while you're chipping away, just start attacking with your mugger as well. So you want to mug the Luck Junction Scroll, which uh, has a 25% success chance. So make sure you prioritise that over doing damage to him. There we go, there's the Luck Junction Scroll. I'm not too fussed about getting the, getting the gun blade to activate. Um, we're not trying to kill him after all. But we can do it a couple of times. Uh, get him to about, if you're doing the same amount of damage that I'm doing with Squall, get him to about 3,000 health, three to 5,000. Like I say, you don't want to kill him. If you kill him, you'll have to reload and start again. Otherwise, you can't repeat this method. Right, let's just check his health again with Quistis. I don't want to do too much more damage. I haven't really been counting as we've gone along here. And he's got... 4,000, so we can get another attack off with Squall quite safely, and then leave it be. Okay, we'll leave it there now. Right, now what we need to do is wait. We've got about 11 minutes or so before we can do the next step. Okay, so we've got just under a minute to go here now. Uh, hopefully we'll get the timing right. It can be a bit of a pain, and obviously if you mess up, you're going to have to start again, which is going to involve having to do the 20 minute timer again um, but hopefully you won't mess up if you do exactly what I do here so what we're going to do is make sure that Squall is selected and that he's able to cast Renza Kukum um, either by any of the means that I suggested to you earlier or a magic just being a yellow health or of course just having the whole uh, remastered toggle thing on and what we want to do is cast Renza Kukum but not until the timer's down to about three or four seconds. You might not get a finishing move. And if you do it with any more than three or four seconds to go, you're going to end up killing the boss within the time limit, which is going to make this method obsolete. So we'll get the boss selected now. And we'll go ahead now and cast. And go. And that should be okay now because the timer reached zero during the cast time. So let's see, we, st we get Odin's card, that's interesting. Okay, there we have it. So we got Odin's card, uh, which is nice. We got the Luck Junction Scroll, obviously the Odin's card you can only get once. Uh, we got the Luck Junction Scroll, and we got 100 triple on each character. And we failed. So what we're going to select now is try again. And look, it plonks us outside of Central Ruins. The boss has reset, so we can repeat the process whenever we want. And we got all of the rewards still, which means that we can repeat. He will have a Luck Junction Scroll back on his mug table again. Uh, we can move triples across to other characters and draw them again if we want to. It's just a tremendous method, really, mostly for getting those Luck Junction Scrolls, which, let's be honest, are super, super rare. So I've got two now, which is nice. Um, I mean, you only really need three, because then you can have one on each active party member. But 
In fact, you probably only need two because one of the uh, Guardian forces comes with one, I think, already. But even so, it's a great little method to use. So I hope it helps you guys out. And if it does, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And go and check out Red Mario's channel as well, since he's the one that uh, made me aware of this method. So, you know, go and give him some support also. But yeah, thanks. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget, I do live stream Final Fantasy VIII as well. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. 2 to 2.30pm UK time is the starting time. And I usually schedule an hour or so before. Because I know there's various, you know, different time zones and stuff that you guys are watching from. Um, but yeah, it'd be great if you guys could stop by, say hello. And if there's any other methods or little secrets or tips that you guys think others would be interested in with Final Fantasy VIII, then share in the comments. And who knows, maybe your tip will be the next one I make a video about. But yeah, it's been great. Thanks for stopping by today, guys. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.